Terrahawks, stay on this channel. This is an emergency. Baby, we're getting close now. <laughs> Flaming thunderbolts. Zero? What are you playing at? Hmm? <laughs> Sorry, sir. I must have been snoring. <laughs> For space sake, Zero, how can you be snoring? You must have a faulty circuit. Get it fixed before I pull your plug. NASA confirmed they have nothing in the area. Dr. Einstein, we have a sighting. Do you have a preliminary scan? Sensors indicate a metallic body. No life sign. No energy sources. Alien? 10-0. Full magnification. Full magnification. Looks like one of those early probes. It can't be. I don't like it. Zero, check the missing craft log. Fast data search. I want to know what that is. So, 1988, Venus probe delta. Malfunction during second orbital phase. Ten zero. Incompatible design characteristics. 1997, Russian space liner. Moskva 111. Far too small. It could be a Moskva 426. No way, lad. You better get your circuits tested. Will you two get your act together? What do we have here? Space probe Alpha. Launched 1999. Well? <clears throat> He's... he's right, sir. Are you sure? Certain, sir. Positive identification. And we've got big trouble. That probe was never designed to return. Thanks for agreeing to meet, Doctor. You made it sound important. It is. We must salvage that Alpha probe. I'll need to be convinced it's a job for Terrahawks. After hearing what I've got to tell you, I guarantee you'll be convinced. Where are you now? Fifteen minutes from Rendezvous. There'll be someone there to meet you. This is where we part company, Commander. You're quite sure this is the place? On the nose. Well, I can't see anyone waiting. But 
if you're certain. Good evening, sir. I was asked to meet you. If you would like to come aboard, sir. The Alpha probe suddenly, inexplicably, returns. A piece of space history. Right. It's a unique opportunity. It must be recovered for examination. All right, but why can't NASA handle it? Alpha was powered by a Mark 24 nuclear rocket. If that probe re-enters the Earth's atmosphere, she'll burn up, explode, and contaminate the atmosphere with radioactive material. Only Terrahawks has the capability to bring her down safely. Okay, Johnson. We'll bring her down. Where? NASA insists on absolute security. Your base would be the obvious choice. One condition. The location of our base must remain a secret. Even from you. Agreed. How are you doing, Kate? It's about finished. Kate, Hawkeye, I'm going up to Space Hawk to lead the recovery team. I'm lifting off in a few minutes. Right. Take care of the shop while I'm away. You got it, Tiger. Very appropriate. How's that? The title of the piece I'm working on is Liftoff. Want to hear it? Sure. We will discover the stinking lair of the despicable Terrorhawks. Wonderful! This and more, I promise. Before the short shadows lengthen, their base will be reduced to a smoking cinder. A smoking cinder? What is this? A representation of the monstrous Neinstein Zelda. Stand clear. <laughs> A smoking cinder. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome aboard, Doctor. Thanks, Hero. Well, what you're asking for is to convert that probe into a re-entry vehicle capable of powered descent. Exactly. Okay. We carry standard space recovery equipment. We'll use a powered delta wing under remote control. Good. That way we'll ensure the correct angle of descent and bring her down bang on target. Hawknest? 1010, hero. All right, lad. Hop down. I don't understand. I'm relieving you of your post. Huh? Over my burned-out circuits, you are. Uh, senior NCO, I'm telling you for the last time. You may have seniority on Earth, 
but up here you don't carry any weight. What? Now you listen to me, lad. Will you two stop arguing and patch into the computers? There's a lot of design work to be done. So? Sometimes I think it was a mistake to let Xeroids have different characteristics. I don't know. Different accents. Maybe it's all part of Rife's leech pattern. In position. 10-10, hero. All right, Zero. Get your team out there. Saw. Port secured. Port secured. Are you sure you can manage that computer all by yourself? You heard it, 101. Heard what? Zero. Get your team out there. My team. I'm in command. Huh. All right, lads. At the double. Zero's inside the probe. No problems so far, Doctor. So far, no problems. Only the purest genius, Mother, could have conceived the idea. The Earthmen destroy their own base. And we are taking full advantage of their shock and dismay. <laughs> Launch our attack! Launch our attack! Wonderful! Computer installed. Good work, Zero. Get your team back here. Saul. Strange. Very strange. On board computer programmed. 1010. Probe will commence re entry in four minutes. <coughs> Only two Zeroids have returned to Spacehawk. What? Sergeant Major Zero is still out there. Zero. Location report. Immediately. I said immediately. I'm still in the probe, sir. I had this theory that... Something isn't quite right here. You, Zero, are a robot. Robots never have theories. Get it? I've got a feeling I... I'm not alone. What is it? I don't know, sir, but it's close, very close. Zero, I'm giving you a direct order. Get back here immediately. Confirm. Zero, do you hear me? He hears you no longer. Yes, Earth thing. I read your metal mind. You and it are now subject to my control. Your precious probe has been modified. 
It is now a gravity-triggered bomb being drawn inexorably to Earth and Terror Hawk's base. Doctor, we have a total systems failure. What? We can no longer control the probe. Don't worry, Doctor. Uh, the probe is programmed to land at the Hawk Nest. It will do it automatically. It will do it automatically! What's wrong, Mother? Kill. Kill the Earth thing. Kill the Earth. What is it, Zelda? My control is broken. But we will still succeed! There was a cube aboard? I'm afraid that's right, sir. It was horrible. Horrible. It held me in some kind of force field. I couldn't even think. Couldn't even think. Amazing. Stay aboard, Zero. We may need you. So? What's the situation? Jet and rocket engines still functional, but the onboard computer's damaged. I can't make contact. So it can't be reprogrammed. That's right, Doctor. There's no way we can stop it hitting Hawk Nest. And with a gravity bomb aboard... Maybe there's one way. Mary? Get Hawkwing Skyborne. 10-10. I'm calling a 10-30. Repeat, a 10-30. I'm on my way. Zero. So. Patch into the main rocket ignition circuit. Bypassing the computer, sir? Right. I want you to be ready to fire those rockets manually. Manually? Mm. I'll be ready, sir. I want to talk to Kate as soon as she's skyborne. Will it work, Doctor? It had better. Alpha probe at 60,000 feet. Point of impact, Hawk Nest. Kate, we're short of time. Let's give it a try, Hawkeye. Say when and it's tan tan. Now. Alpha probe at 40,000 feet. I see it, Kate. Have visual contact. Call the moment you've got that nose up. 10 10. There it is. Let's try again. 20,000 feet. We're going in again. Ten thousand feet. They're running out of feet. Nine thousand. Eight thousand. Seven thousand. Six thousand. 5,000, 4,000, 3,000, 2,000. Now, Kate. It's up. Zero, fire rocket engines. Saw.
They made it! They made it! I never doubted it. No sweat, huh? Well, it's all in a day's work, lad. Terrahawks, the emergency is over. I'm returning to Earth. I got the idea from reading about the old-time fighter pilots when they still had wars on Earth. Interesting. They used to flip over unmanned flying bombs with their wingtips. And it worked? It worked for them, and it worked for us. By the way, have you seen Sergeant Major around anywhere? I haven't seen him since you came down to Earth. Flaming thunderbolts. Zero, location report. I'm in the Alpha Probe, sir. As per your orders, approximate distance from Earth, one and a half million miles. For space sake, get out of there, Zero. Yes, sir. How long will it take him to spacewalk to Spacehawk? About three days. Tiger, how could you forget the Sergeant Major? Zero? <laughs> Have a safe journey. Thank you, sir. Yo, this is the life. Out in the open, foot slogging it back to base. Space yomping, that's what it is. Still, it's a long way. Well, I think I'll have a little snooze. <laughs> <laughs>